This video will walk you through how to customize your portal and add your portal to your WordPress website via an iframe. The first thing you will want to do is to customize your portal within your Creely instance. To do so, you will have to be an administrator. Logging into your administrative account, you will want to click settings on the bottom left hand side of your screen. It will be directly underneath your home button. After doing so, you can select portal, which will be under basic setup. Now, if your portal is not yet enabled, you will want to click yes at the top of your screen. Once that portal is enabled, if you hover over enable portal on the right hand side, you can select your link to view what your portal will look like. Now underneath that section, you will see an area to customize the look and feel of your portal. Now you can have a title of your company, you can add a logo, or you can add a custom header. And if you would like to add that custom header via HTML, you can click this link in the top right hand corner of this box and add raw HTML. So I will click logo and all I did was click select file to upload this image. Underneath that, I can put the background color, the color of my link, title, and accent. Now, as a rule of thumb, you will want to match your background color to the color currently on your website. Um, that's so your iframe will blend in a little more seamlessly. And if you click show advanced settings, that will give you all of the options to link your website from your portal page and whether you want to require a job submission or not. If you say yes, it will remove the link to have someone apply to your system just for general consideration. You can also make email and phone number a required field as well as first and last name um, and other options are below. Now, after you've customized the look and feel of your portal, uh, you will log into your WordPress website. After logging in to your WordPress account, you will want to click pages on the left hand side of your screen. Now, if you have already created a careers page for your website, you will want to go to all pages and select that page. If not, you will click add new and create a new page for your website. So I will select all pages here and I'm going to go to my careers page here. Underneath that header, I'm going to collect edit. After selecting edit, it will take me into this page. Now in the top right hand corner of this box, I will want to ensure that it is on text and not visual. In this box, this is where you will put in the code for your iframe. And if you go into our help desk and go into our article, below will show you the code you will need. So we'll just copy this code and we're going to paste it right here in the text portion. Now, one thing that you will need to do for this code, and it will mention that in this article as well, but you are going to need to replace your org name and make sure your Crelate org name is in here. After doing so, if you select visual, it will give you a preview of what this will look like. I can also click preview changes on the right hand side of my screen and it will take me to a view where I can preview what this looks like. Now anything I would like to change such as background colors, um, headers here, I can definitely do that back in Crelate in my settings area. Now when I'm done, I will select update. And if you go to your website, you should now see that there. Now for those of you who created a new page, we will want to make sure that's connected to your website. So after updating that page, you will go to appearance and then menus. Here you can see all of the pages that are visible on your website and connect them to different pages. So in your menu header here, and you'll want to make sure you are on your type of menu. So I'm going to say take me to my top menu header. And here I see I have my homes page, my about page, and my careers page. For those of you who do 
does not have your page in this section, you will want to go on the left hand side in this box here, select that page that you just added, and let's add that to the menu. And you can click and reorder it, you can make it sub pages, um, but this is where you can add the pages you would like, and if you wanted to remove a page, you can just slide down on it and say remove. Awesome. When you're done, you'll click Save Menu and your website will be complete. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any problems, please feel free to email support at crelate.com.